it's us again. So today we're gonna do our Q&A. We're gonna answer some questions. All right, here we are. We're gonna use our beautiful little demo pony. Little mud flap. Little mud flap. She's it's upset. This, this is lunch time right now. But uh, too bad. Come here, mud flap. You're so cute. Sahara coming up. She's a little bit herd bound, so she'll be perfect to use for this demo. We're gonna demo what we do when a horse won't stand tied. So one of the questions we have for the Q and A is, what do I do if my horse doesn't stand still? Like this one right here. <laughs> this is a perfect example. So we're gonna use her. We're gonna show you how she reacts when she's by herself. This is a blocker tiring. These are what we use to tie horses. And I'll explain why right now. Put the lead rope through and then through there. And it is a magnet in there. And it slides out and then you can slide it back in. So if horse gets in a panic and they pull back, I'm not gonna pull this whole post down over my fence. That's just a bit safer than having them get caught up and hurt themselves. Okay, we're gonna leave you to stand here. We're gonna see what you do. Okay, there's the hair standing. As you can see, she's kind of looking around. Are you a naughty pony? Okay, there's an undesirable behavior. Moving, a little bit of pawing. So we're gonna talk about what we do to set a horse up for success before we even tie them. As you guys can see from the video earlier when she was standing, she really wasn't standing happily. She was doing some pawing, some moving. So what I say to people is when you go to tie your horses, you need to set them up for success, okay? So if you know your horse is going to move a lot on the tiring, then you need to take them and move their feet, okay? Get them a little tired. So we're just gonna go ahead and lunch the hair here for a minute. She's got her feet moving. Here. We're going to see what she does and then I'm going to show you how to correct this behavior if it continues. Okay? Girl. Okay. So she's still doing a little bit of moving. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I would do. And you can do this with two people like just one. Do you want to move your feet? Okay, we're going to move your feet. Now, luckily this is a pretty lazy pony, so this wouldn't take too long with other hotter high energy horses or horses that have never really learned how to tie properly and have been tied improperly their whole lives. This is not going to take two minutes. This might take 15 minutes a day for three weeks, right? If your horse has issues, you just have to work with them and be consistent. 